All right. So, for the double buck, uh, which is a double buck, this is coming in at 9.5%. 9.5% uh, hold on for a second 9.5% uh, is thank you excuse me 9.5% uh, is coming in at about uh, between 270 and 300 calories so somewhere around 290, we'll just call it three. Uh, so for this 12 ounce bottle, about 300 calories. Um, I thought this was interesting. It says that it's ale in Texas, sort of like that. But here it's lager, and Buck is a lager. And uh, just looking at my notes here, a Doppelbox uh, best glassware is a dimpled mug, stein, or stem glass. I'm going to use a dimpled mug just because I think they're kind of fun. And there is my dimpled mug. And... I'm going to get some nice, bright, fiery light going behind it. And let's listen for the crack. Nice sound. I'm actually going to take a second and blow my nose. So I can really get a sense of aroma. All right, let's pour. I do have a uh, Sam Adams glass, but um, whenever possible, I really like to stick to glassware that matches the style. And Sam Adams did a really nice job with their glass, but um, aside from a Sam Adams lager, I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be putting in that glass. Because there's no, you know, long standing tradition for what's supposed to be in there. That's beautiful. That's actually beautiful too. Let's see if we can take some of the heat off of that head there. Yeah, that is beautiful. I really like that. I really um, am not a big fan of dimpled mugs. I, I think of it as sort of a um, an inelegant solution to serving beer, but um. They're also kind of fun, and I don't think about tasting as, as typically a, a fun thing. I, I like to think about it rather seriously. Um, but that's just my hang up, you know. I do like the idea of being able to uh, use all of my different pieces of glassware from time to time, so that's fun. That's a nice thing. shot there. Nice shot there. 
and we're about six minutes in, so I'm going to get to this part of it. Here's me. That's a little hot. All right. Nice, deep red, amber color. The aroma has a lot of um, smoke and a lot of uh, syrup. I can definitely smell the syrup. And um, some fruit there, some cherries, uh, some oakiness, woody scent. I really like that head on there. I like the uh, fact that it's highly carbonated. It's, it is brilliantly clear, translucent. Let's give it a taste. Man, that is not a light drink. <laughs> not light at all. Uh, it's tasty. It's definitely syrupy. Definitely um, malt. A lot of malt, but also a lot of sugar. Um, it's it's sweet, almost cloying, uh, but it's not bad. The aroma tells a lot about the flavor. I wish this was more about coffee as opposed to um, about all that sweetness. It's, it's definitely sweet. I don't think about this as a lager at all. I don't think of it as particularly crisp. Um, and I've said before, box are not my favorite style. Uh, but I think that it's well done. I think that it's um, definitely imperial style. It's, it is not for sipping, or I'm sorry, it is for sipping. It is not for gulping. It's tasty. I would love to pair it something to uh, allow it to, to uh, offset. I almost want to say like, a shot of whiskey would really do something nice for this because I think it would be a different kind of a hit. Um, I think, you know, what you might expect to eat with this to sort of offset it, some really heavy meat or um, I think almost like a, like a roast beef sandwich or something um, would do really well. It's, it's very tasty, very sweet, uh, a lot of tea flavors, and as it lingers, as, uh, as I get to enjoy the finish, the finish is very nice, uh, but something that you want to take <laughs> in light doses, because it's, it'll, it'll get you. So, thanks a lot, Sam Adams. I really enjoyed your Imperial Stout. Uh, too. I think I enjoyed the Imperial Stout just a bit more, but that's one of my favorite styles. And I did also pick up the Imperial White, so uh, keep an eye out on this channel for, for that. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye.